The Speaker recognizes Representative Geis. Mr. Speaker and the honorable members of the House, thank you for the opportunity to speak on House Bill 4369. I stand here today to talk about the EAA and what it means to our children. The EAA is an authority over education, but the data shows there is no achievement. As my colleagues will also testify, the 2013 MEEP data shows that most EAA students fail to make progress towards proficiency. Most alarming in the data for those who entered the EAA being proficient, 66% are no longer proficient in math and 37% are no longer proficient in reading. In other words, they've gone backwards. As one of only two members in the legislature today who served on the Race to the Top Conference Committee in 2009 and the only remaining House member I am troubled by the EAA and its results. During the negotiations to solidify the package of bills that became the race to the top legislation, Democrats and Republicans worked, worked towards a balanced approach to turn our failing schools around. The balanced legislation provided four avenues to helping our children in these failing schools. The turnaround model, the transformation model, the restart model, and school closure. The key goal was to provide an avenue that allowed local control and governance to fix the lowest 5% of schools in our state. Each school district was to be given two years to write its own ship, and then, and only then, if they were not able to show student growth, would the school be turned over to the state school reform redesign district. The EAA, however, short-circuited this process. It did not follow the law. The emergency manager for the Detroit Public Schools threw up his hands and said, I can't fix the problem, and the governor created the EAA in June 2011. This was less than a year after the lowest performing schools were identified and published as directed by the race of the top legislation. Since that time, the EAA has failed the students that have been placed under its authority. Today's legislation attempts to codify that failure into statute as a standalone entity. I won't support a bill that rewards failure. It is my belief that if the race to the top legislation was followed and a variety of turnaround models were utilized to turn these schools around, we would have far better data on what works and what does not work. Instead, the EAA only tells us what does not work. It should be noted that during the debate of this subject exactly a year ago, a colleague from across the aisle said that failure to support House Bill 4369 meant that those who opposed the bill didn't care about kids. The member from House District 45 said that if you didn't support House Bill 4369, that meant that we didn't have a plan. Let the record show that the member in question did not vote for the race to the top legislation and therefore did not support the law which, at its roots, albeit in an aborted fashion, created the EAA. The argument that to oppose this bill is to oppose helping children is absurd and an uncalled for. Let the record show that 65 members of this body, both Republicans and Democrats, supported the race of the top legislation. Let the record show that there have been successful reform models created and implemented to help children. Let the record show that a vote for the race of the top legislation supported local control. Let the record show that the EAA has not been successful and has taken away local control. Let the record show that the children in the EAA are worse off today than when they entered the EAA. Let the record show that my opposition to this bill is derived from the knowledge that to support it is to support harming children. The EAA has authority over education. It has achieved nothing. Therefore, I urge a no vote on House Bill 4369.